All right, guys, so in this video, I'm going to be discussing the top five biggest stadiums currently being built in the United States of America here in 2023. We're going to start with number five. This is all based on total capacity of the stadium, and all of these stadiums currently are under construction. So at number five, it is the Iron District Stadium, which is an 8,000-seat soccer stadium currently under construction located in Milwaukee, Wisconsin. It's going to have a surface of artificial turf, and the stadium was first announced in May of 2022 as part of a larger Iron District Sports and Entertainment District development, which will also include housing, a concert venue, and retail space. The 11-acre property on which the district will be built was purchased from Marquette University. Initial construction on development began in September of 2022 at the official unveiling event for the USL Championship Club. On October 19th of 2022, it was announced that work on the stadium had already begun, including the demolition of an abandoned motel which stood on the property. Structural work has begun that started late in 2022, and it is expected to open in Milwaukee in 2024. You can see this is the modern design we're seeing with a lot of these soccer stadiums here in the United States, but this one, a little bit different. It seems they've got some type of five or six story apartment complex overlooking the field. Yes, very, very nice right there. And you can see kind of a smaller stadium, the capacity only 8,000. Remember, this is a top five on stadiums currently under construction. There's a lot more that are planned, but these are actually, these have actually broken ground and are currently being built right now with this one opening in 2024. It kind of has a, a darker vibe with most of the exterior, the Iron District being kind of a black color, and then you can see it does have the overhang, which basically all the modern soccer stadiums are doing here and also in Europe. They've all got big overhangs to protect the fans from the elements. That is number five on the list of future stadiums. At number four, it is the Kansas City Current Stadium, which is also a soccer-specific stadium that is being built in Kansas City, Missouri for the Kansas City Current of the National Women's Soccer League. We're digging deep with some of these. Holy crap. This one has a capacity just above 11,000 and broke ground in October of 2022. The total construction cost coming out to $117 million. The Kansas City Current were founded in December of 2020 as Kansas City NWSL an expansion team. The team was created on an accelerated timeline in order to accept and relocate the roster of the Utah Royals FC. The new team attempted to secure Children's Mercury Park, which is another soccer-specific stadium in KC that was owned and controlled by MLS. However, Sporting declined to share the venue, and they had to pivot to their new... Kansas City Current Stadium. They do not have a sponsorship for it yet, but this is in the late stages of construction and it is expected to be and is expected to be completed relatively soon. You can take a look at its design. It does have a little overhang like pretty much all of them do. There's really not much to it. I guess you can see a nice little bar area, futuristic. It's got some nice lighting. Overall, there it is, October. They broke ground. But that is the fourth biggest stadium right now in the United States being built. Moving on to number three, it is Eleven Park which is another soccer-specific stadium currently under construction in Indianapolis, Indiana. It will be home to the Indy 11, who are a professional soccer team that plays in the USL Championship. The stadium will be part of a mixed-use development, including hotel, offices, apartments, and retail area and is expected to be complete by the start of 2025 for their season. The first proposal for an Indy 11 stadium was all the way back in 2014, the year the team debuted. The plans called for a 19,000-seat stadium at the cost of $87 million. The plan, however, was shelved in the state Senate. In 2015, there was another proposal, but again, it was rejected in favor of renovating an older stadium. 
in 2017. They tried again, but did not have a bill launched in favor for it. And then in January of 2019, my goodness, the 11 announced the new stadium plan with a 20,000 seat stadium to be the centerpiece of a half a billion dollar mixed use development, including 600 apartments, more than 100,000 square feet of retail space, right around 150,000 square feet of office space and a 200 room hotel. The stadium would also have the potential to host concerts and other crap. In mid-June of 2022, the club announced that the stadium would be built on the site of the former Diamond Chain Company factory in the southwest quadrant of downtown Indianapolis. The full price for the development was above a billion dollars. So this is a mega project here. The project is anticipated to be completed by the spring of 2025. They broke ground just around two months ago, May 31st of 2023. So they are in the early construction phases. And you can see this is a legitimate soccer stadium. And they've got a nice bridge going across with some type of rings going around it. I just noticed that. That's a nice design there. But yes, very nice exterior Looks like some type of X, you know, design. Pretty unique there. And then the interior, you've got the club levels, of course. And then the one side with the two-deck approach. That is the third biggest stadium that is being built currently. Moving on to number two, it is Miami Freedom Park, which is a 25,000-seat soccer-specific stadium that's being built in Miami, Florida. And it's going to be a major complex. That's why it's called Freedom Park. In July of 2018, David Beckham unveiled plans for the stadium as part of Miami Freedom Park, a mixed-use complex at the site of a country club near an airport. The development is to be built on 131 acres of public land and includes 1 million square feet of office retail and commercial space, 750 hotel rooms, 23 acres of public soccer fields in addition to a 10.5 acre stadium. The remaining 58 acres would be a public park. On April 28, 2022, the Miami City Council voted 4-1 to one in favor of granting Inner Miami a 99-year lease for the site. And in March of 2023, the golf course where the site will be located was shut down and they have begun bulldozing it in early photos here. They are in the early stages right now of construction for Miami Freedom Park, which will be a massive project. Very, very hard to build land in Miami, let alone that much. That's where Lionel Messi will be playing 25,000 total seats and the second biggest stadium in America currently under construction. And then the biggest stadium that is currently under construction just recently broke ground. It is the Buffalo Bills new Highmark Stadium, which is expected to open in time for the 2026 NFL season. It seats 62,000 people and costs right around $1.45 billion dollars being built adjacent to Erie Community College's South Campus across the street from the existing Highmark Stadium, which will be demolished. And the design of Highmark Stadium, it is important to note this, NFL stadiums normally never do this. It has an overhang. You normally only see this with soccer stadiums. The bills were kind of between a rock and a hard place where... They're planning for a new stadium. Every team in the NFL is doing the dome. They're doing the retractable roof, a controlled environment. But this is Buffalo, New York, and they love the snowstorms. They get sometimes, you know, one a year where it'll be a big snow game in Buffalo. They like the cold. That's how their team is built. And it was like, we want to still have that as an element. We just, we don't want to have a dome completely. So it is open air, but you do have the big time overhangs, which will create some interesting shadows during your one o'clock games, during your 425 games, especially. And also you're going to have some big heaters located in the stadium. And the goal they're saying is to keep the heat using the roofs, keep the heat in the stadium on the sides of the stadium, which will keep the fans warm. Now, obviously, heat rises, and they're basically trying to trap the heat 
within the overhang. So we'll see if they end up doing that. But yes, there is the design. It is kind of generic. You know, I don't see outside of the overhang, which certainly is unique for an NFL stadium. Looking at the interior, I don't see one crazy thing. And unfortunately, that's normally how it is when it comes to new NFL stadiums. You'll notice the Tennessee Titans new stadium is not on this list. They have not broke ground officially yet on that. And that's actually been delayed a year. We now think it's opening in 2027, not 2026. It's also important to note the NFL season is always late. So while this is opening in 2026, it's not opening until September or what if it would be August of 2026, they'll be playing some preseason games. Very, very early stages of construction on that. But guys, those are the top five biggest stadiums in the United States that are currently under construction here in 2023. That's going to do it for this video. Make sure you're following me on Twitter. Link to that's always in the description.